Good evening and welcome to Van Wert High School. It is District Volleyball Tournament Week here at WOSM. And we have the maybe the toughest Division VI district in the entire state of Ohio. Today we have in our opening match the number six ranked Mary Local Flyers and the number one, number one ranked Coldwater Cavaliers. My name's Mark Scheim. My players will be play by play alongside Mr. Dave Bowen. Dave, can you get any tougher than the three MAC teams and Crestview in this building tonight? I don't believe so, Mark. And it's great to be your wingman tonight for this fantabulous night of district volleyball. You are correct. Marion Local Coldwater tip it off. Two great programs, two great coaches. Katherine Dirksen in her first year, Nikki Etzler in her ninth year. It's going to be a real good one. Well, let's take a look at Katherine Dirksen's Mary Local Flyers, Dave. They come in at 17 and 6. They were 5 and 4 in the Midwest Athletic Conference, tied for fourth with an upcoming Versailles team. They played 76 sets. How about a couple of players to look at for their team? Pat? Absolutely. Grace Moeller, she's going to be on the front lines, really, really looking to get some kills against this Coldwater Club. She doesn't look physically imposing out there, Mark, but, man, does she have some tremendous muscle twitch. She can hit the ball hard from the net. She can also do it behind the 10-foot line. And then Natalie Evers, their setter, she really does a great job of spreading the ball around to all of the hitters on this Marion local squad. The Coldwater Cavaliers ended the season ranked number one in Division Six. They are 23-0. They are 9-0 in the MAC, which they won this year, of course. Not only do they have several talented players today, but they have the player of the year in the Midwest Athletic Conference and Spencer Etzler. Spencer Etzler, just an outstanding talent. The daughter of the head coach, Nikki Etzler. Nikki was the coach of the year in the Midwest Athletic Conference this year. Spencer Etzler, Stanford bound. This is the last go around for this senior. Coldwater, they are looking for that all elusive state championship in volleyball. Has not been, has not happened in Coldwater volleyball history. You got to stay locked in the now, though, Mark, and just take care of business one step at a time. One final thing, Dave. If you are a Marion local flyer, this Coldwater Cavalier team has lost one set out of those 65 sets, and that was to Marion local this year. 64 and one overall is Coldwater. What you're going to notice is that they just don't let the ball hit the ground. If you have put the ball on the wood on their side of the net, you have done everything exactly right, and you have earned that point. Our opening match this evening, the Marion Local Flyers, the Coldwater Cavaliers. We've got opening action coming up right after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Back at Van Wert High School, it is Division VI District Semifinal Night. Our premier sponsor tonight for the Marion Local Flyers is OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, you can call OPAC. Mark Shine, Dave Bullen. Dave, the first thing I want to do is correct uh, an error I made in our pregame. Versailles is the one win, uh, one set victory this year against Coldwater. Coldwater did win that match 3-1. to one. Uh, Marion Local and Coldwater matched up on October 3rd. That was at Marion Local. The scores were 25, 20, 25, 22, and 25, 15 for the Cavaliers. Just so very impressive to only lose one set all season long. And what I would, what I thought is when I had them against St. Henry on WSN, that second set, I thought St. Henry might break that mold a little bit. They they lost to Marion Local 28-26, and then Marion, or excuse me, Coldwater, and then Coldwater just ran with it. And, of course, it's the competition they play that's yes. kind of key as yes. well. Coldwater is on the right in the dark jerseys with the gold orange trim. Marion Local is on the left side of your screen. They're in white uniforms this evening. First point on a missed tip will go to the way of Marion Local. And back to serve for them. This is number 13, Maya Eckstein. Serve goes deep to the libero and hit out of the middle. That ball was hit long by Spencer Etzler. It is 2-0 Flyers. So two airs right out of the shoot by Coldwater. Long on two hits for kills. Marion Local with the early lead. Next time we'll serve again, the sophomore. Spencer Etzler tips it over and Spencer records a first point for her team this evening. Puts it in the campfire right there, does Spencer Etzler. 
Again, just a phenomenal player. There's a lot of phenomenal players out here tonight, but she is going to Stanford and has earned that opportunity. And she will serve up to number 20 in the front row. Here's a hit out of the side, and it got right on the sideline. Catch a number on that one, Dave. Is that? Number 22, double deuces, Rachel Keeter. Thank you very much. That's her 108th kill of the season. And Rachel will serve. And big hit, put that one away by Morgan Blassingame. 372nd kill in the season. She not only leads Coldwater in that category, she led the MAC in that category. And they like to go to her early in a set, set tone with Morgan Blazing game at the kill line. And I, I understand why. Campbell Etzler, the libero, serves. And that hits right back to her. And it went out of bounds on the kill by Grace Moeller. That's her 252nd kill on the season. She's number seven in the MAC in that category. We talked about her in the pregame a little bit, Mark, and we saw it on display right there. Tremendous arm action. Set out of the middle. That's put away. Quick set in the middle goes to Morgan Blasting game. Yeah, Mia Kanapke with the set. She does that deed for Coldwater like no other. She leads the MAC in that category. That's her 716th assist on the year. Riley Kanapke comes into play in the front row as Mia Kanapke serves. And that kill on the left side. You catch a number on that, Dave. Number nine, I believe, Brooke, Brooke Evers. Evers. Okay, yeah, thank you. They are hard to read. You mentioned it. They really and are. And we are clear up here. It's a beautiful <laughs> facility, the yeah. Cougars' den. Sometimes I think using the word den is a little bit of a misnomer. It's a, it's a real big place now, not like the old place down on Crawford Street. Just tipped over, diving play by Natalie Evers, then it's pushed over. Here's a set in the middle, and it's pushed to the middle of the floor. Another good play by Evers. Etzler will set. That ball's hit to the libero, unrasked, and from the back row, and missing from the back row, and her kill attempt is Grace Moeller. Great volley right there, Mark. Marion Local giving Coldwater a little bit of their own medicine. They did a great job of not letting the ball hit the wood. Several dives on that particular volley, but they didn't come up with the point. Big hit out of the middle. That went to the libero on the kill by is that Ike in the middle? Yes. That's what I thought. Thank you. Here's Chloe Ronebaum to serve. You can see Chloe has a knee brace on. We did a match earlier this year. She was unable to play because of that knee injury. Glad to see her back. A second team all-conference player. Kanapke sets. And a hit on the far side. That one goes to Ontrop. 43rd kill on the season for Paige Ontrop. And this is where you see Mia Kanapke just using all the weapons that she has up there on the front line. Obviously, Blazing Game is the lead in that area, but she's got Blazing Game and she's got Spencer Etzler, and we saw uh, right there Paige Ontrop. Karen Niekamp came in to serve. Maya Eckstein Maya gets Eckstein, that one over, you. yes. And back to serve will be Brooke Evers. Set. Etzler hits. And she hit it into the antenna. I'm sorry, the block went into the antenna, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yep. The hit by Etzler was just fine, but the block went wide right and would have clearly gone into uh, the stands, but it hit the antenna and came back in, but that is a violation. Riley Kanapke serves. Hit over by the setter, Natalie Evers. Spencer Etzler hits. Evers will set this time. That's blocked, it's gonna be blocked out of bounds. And done so on the kill by Maya Eckstein. Eckstein. Yeah, that's her second kill of the set. Maya's turn to serve at 8-6. And the serve is short, 8-7. Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. Etzler, 
Etzler second in the MAC in aces, first on this Coldwater team with 57. To Ronenbaum, here's the set, goes cross court. Tip to an open spot. Big hit by Kanapke. And that's Keithler's shot goes short. We saw that dig by Briley Kanapke on Coldwater's side of the net, and there it was on display, Mark. They just really challenge you. They don't let the ball hit the floor. Great dig by Kanapke, Float results serve. in a Coldwater point. Overpass, and right there to put it away is Kira Kanapke. Coldwater's first lead of the evening at 9-8. And that's the challenge for a coach. Coach Dirksen's got to tell our kids, we got to make sure we don't give them free balls, but you can't put them in a position where they got to think they got to play perfect. Set. Hit out of the middle by Grace Moeller. Yep, she picks up the kill. That's her second of the set. We're tied at nine. Brook Petroleum scoreboard. Natalie Evers will serve. Nordenbaum was right there at the net. Here comes Evers to set. And a hit on the backside goes to Etzler. What's the call? Coldwater in the yeah, net. We've got a Cavalier in the net. So Marion Local comes out here in this first set saying we're ready to play against the number one team in Division Six. They lead by one. Natalie Evers will serve. This time Blasted Game has to set. Evers pushes it to the back corner where it's played by Campbell Etzler. And right overpass, a couple of good plays in the back row. Done so by Sophia Fleck. So Natalie Evers and Rachel Keeter right there. Confusion, miscommunication. They both look like tourists in New York City trying to navigate the subway system, and the ball gets away from both of them. Point for Coldwater. Campbell Etzler serves this time. We're tied at 10. Bowler's hit. Just dumped over. Unrask gets to that one. Ronenbaum hits. This hit will be by Kara Kanapke. Overpass and right into the wheelhouse of Morgan Blasting game, and that is not a good place to put the ball. It is not. And again, I know that's been a point of emphasis for Coach Dirksen in preparation for this match. We got to pass the ball. First contact has to be really, really good. We got to get it to our setter. The overpass, Coldwater takes advantage. Campbell Etzler will serve again. Throwing a bomb hits. Dave, when you miss several games because of a knee injury and you're still second team all conference in this league, you're pretty good. That's impressive. She's third on the Marion Local Flyer squad in kills. That's 153 on the season. When I had her earlier against, or the, the Flyers against OG, she didn't play be early on because she had been suffering from illness. Flyers scramble around and keep it alive. That hit was by Kanapke. Look at that hustle. How about unrest play. Kanapke will set again, and Blasting Game will hit again. Free balled over by Keeter. Set out of the middle. Blasting Game gets it blocked. What a point that was before Kiara Kanapke put it away for Coldwater Cavaliers. Kanapke gets the kill, but you're right, Mark. A great volley, and again, Marion Local. There's pep in their step tonight. Their defense is outstanding here in the early going. 12-11 in favor of the Cavaliers. Mia Kanapke will serve. And we're tied at 12. That's what you want to do. Obviously, Coldwater, number one ranked, undefeated. They are the ones that are supposed to win. Marion Local, they just want to hang around and be there at the end. Ava Unrath serves. Wonderful set that time. Unrast tracks it down. Ronenbaum has to free ball it over. Set out of the middle. Blasting game hits it, but she hits it to Evers. Unrast will bump it over. Good play in the back row by Moeller. And Ronenbaum hits. Back set put away this time by Paige Ontrop. Both teams in that volley. Great transitions from defense to offense when the ball was on their side of the net. You want to be aggressive, you have to be aggressive. Coldwater comes away with the point. Morgan Blasting Game serves. 
the Eckstein hits. And that was Olivia Broering's shot. Mia Kanapke with the back set to Broering. And for the first time, the Cavaliers have a two-point lead. And that's where you see it happen in the middle of sets. Coldwater imposes their will on the opponent. Marion Local's got to stiffen up here right now. Set. Ronenbaum hits, and that's going to be four contacts as she hit the ball into the net. Chloe Ronenbaum, she can hit it from both sides, but she is more effective on the left side, that time on the right side, and as you said, put it in the net. Three-point lead, Cavaliers on the Burke Petroleum scoreboard. And they're going to keep it alive. There it the back is. Back row it goes. Evers sets. Ronenbaum hits. Unrast has to play that. And really nice job keeping the ball in play by Maya Eckstein. Etzler hits it. It's blocked. Tipped to an open area, but there's Ronebaum. She's going to get another hit attempt. How about the Cavalier defense? Isn't it something? Blasting game pushes it to the back row. Set again, and Etzler will hit. Ronebaum got to that one. It's tipped over. Eckstein again, or Etzler again. And then right down the line, putting it away is Maya Eckstein, the sophomore. And the Marion local faithful let the girls on the floor know how happy they are about earning that point. That's a momentum point, Mark. A long volley, and Marion local earns the point to cut it back to two. 15-13. Spencer Etzler hits out of the middle. Unrass hits it over. Back set. Played over again by Eckstein. Spencer Etzler hits it to Unrass. She'll set this time. Kanapke sets. Spencer Etzler hits. And yeah, somebody might have been in the net there. Yeah, somebody yes. was. The call was number 20, Natalie Evers. And that's a good time to introduce our officiating crew. On the ladder, Dan Cook. At the net, Bethany Edwards. Our line judges are Lindsey Tim and Dan Minnick. Three-point lead for the Cavs, Mark. Kira Kanapke serves. Set in the middle. Push to the sideline. Eckstein, Unrass plays that one. Blasting game will set. Spencer Etzler hits. Good play by Unrass Outstanding. again. Outstanding. Just keep it alive. Bedlam. Spencer Etzler again. And that one's going to go out of play. 17-13, Coldwater. We played 30 points, and neither team has taken a timeout. Kanapke will serve again, the junior, 16 aces on the season. Ronenbaum, unrasked. My Eckstein hits. Evers pushes it over. Blasting game will set. Etzler hits to unrasked. Back row set this time to Kanapke. Blasting game will set Spencer Etzler again. It's blocked. And on the touch, it will go out of bounds. 14-17, Coldwater. And I believe Brooke Evers got the block. She's the third. Uh, she's in third on Mary Local squad with 34 in that category. A timely block right there for the point. And Brooke serves off the net. And Spencer <laughs> Etzler <laughs> emphatically put one in the bleachers after it bounced yeah. off a Cavalier. Or she a could flyer. say, uh, bring your block on this one. Man, did she hit that one hard. You know, Mia Kanapke, as we said, she is number one in the MAC with sets, but she's just so fundamental. What she doesn't do a whole lot is go over on two. She, she feeds her hitters. Evers gets it blocked back at her. And that will be a point. Spencer Etzler with another block. It's 14-19 now, Cole Water. Block number 20 on the season for Etzler. you got to be thinking about that timeout now if you're Coach Dirksen down five. 
Here's Briley Kanapke's second serve on this rotation. She's not going to use it. Good serve. Unrast will set, however, and the hit will be by Grace Moeller. Spencer Etzler pushes it over this time. Eckstein. And it's out of bounds. Was it touched? Don't believe so. It was There's not. your timeout. 2014 Coldwater timeout, Mary Local. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball, WOSN. Scoreboard today here at Van Wert is brought to you by Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800 776 3097. Mark, I've been very impressed with Marion Local's defense. I know they're down six, but boy, they have played well uh, and much quicker than what I have seen when we've had them on WSN throughout the season. It's just that they are going up against a team that if you want to you wanna spell defense, you yeah. spell it C-O-L-D-W-A-T-E-R right now. Just doing a great job as well. And Coach Dirksen, again, she knows what it's like to go to state. She was a member of the first Marion local volleyball team that won a state championship back in 2007. With our score 20 to 14 in our opening set, Bradley Kanapke will continue to serve. Evers will set. Back set hit that time by Maya Eckstein. And they scramble around, and point will go to Coldwater. And there's one of the few times you see Mia Kanapke go over on two, and Marion Local was not ready for it, and rightly so. She doesn't do it very often. they got to plan for that third hit. She takes advantage. Set, hit. A big time hit out of the middle. That was 14, Grace Moeller. Yes, Grace ends Moeller. The run. She can hit from the side, but when she's in the middle, it's just so diverse. She can go right, left, straight at you, and it was a quick set. Nothing Coldwater could do. My Eckstein will serve this ball. Set, Spencer Etzler. 22 15. It's a seven point lead early on here in the opening set. And Spencer Etzler will serve. And you want to talk about fundamentals. Mia Kanapke with the back set, one of the best you'll see in the area. 715 assists in those 65 sets that her team has played this year. Tipped to an open spot. There about it is. The play by Blasting Game just to keep it alive. And it's tipped right on the line. And that's one of the few times you'll see that. Briley Kanapke made the decision to let that one go down. She thought it would be out, but it did hit the red line. These girls, they make such great decisions on when the ball's going to be in or out. Natalie Evers to serve. Blasting game will push it to the back row, and she missed the back line. She look did. At both line judges. Yeah, it was the right idea. Just too much sauce on that one. It goes long. Marion Local needs to look at those corners as well. Coldwater really sucks up to the 10-foot line on defense. Blasting game hits out of the middle this time on the short set from Mia Kanapke. And this is what you get when Blasting game's up front. Kanapke knows, I need to go to her more often than not, and they typically put on a run, 23-17. With Campbell Etzler to serve. Overpass, they got away with it though. Back set hit, tipped again. A good play that time by Grace Moeller. And that's gonna be a point. Some of the Flyer fans thought a little prolonged contact on that uh -huh. thing. ball that got into the upper body of Mia Kanapke. That and they had their back to the play. We could see it. Yeah, it yeah. did. It did. It hit her shoulder, but it, it bounced right off, and they couldn't see that. And we are at set point here for the Coldwater Cavaliers in our first set with Campbell Etzler to serve. Evers will set Ronabom on the far side. She rolls it across the net, and they get a point out of it. 24-18. Yeah, no margin for error for Marion Local. They've got to get at least six points right here to tie it at 24. With Grace Moeller to serve, junior first-team all-conference player. That's tipped over and put away by Mia Kanapke from her 
set her position. She was in the front row. Legal play, and her team will take the opening set, 25 to 18. Second set coming up after this. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Back at Van Wert, tonight's Marion Local premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, you can call OPAC. Opening set went to the Coldwater Cavaliers, 25-18. Scored some points, Dave, on the service of Briley Kanapke, but more or less it was just a kind of a gradual, steady pull away thing. Yeah, steady pull away, and as we said during the set, Coldwater has that tenacity in the middle of sets to impose their will on their opponent. That's what we've seen consistently throughout the year with them. And look at number 14, Grace Moeller. She's over talking with the trainer. And uh, she's supposed to be in the, on the floor right now. And here comes the official to say, where's number 14 at? And here she comes. That's good. They need her on the yeah, floor. Yeah, I was concerned. You know, you see somebody talking to the trainer, what might be the, yeah. the situation. She looks healthy, and we're mm -hmm. glad to have her back. Coach Nikki Yetzler in her ninth year at Coldwater. Coldwater has five MAC championships under their belt, as we alluded to. Zero state championships, making looking to make a run this season. Uh, coach Etzler, the MAC coach of the year. Uh, Marion Local, they have five state championships in volleyball and ten MAC championships. Marion Local will serve first in set number two. This is my X9 to do the honors. Spencer Etzler. Starts off right where her team finished up in the opening set with a 1-0 lead. That's her fifth kill of the match. Here's Briley Kanapke, the freshman, 5-6. Set, hit. This will be Spencer Etzler again. She tips it this time. And Ava Unrast has to play it over. That ball is tipped out of the middle. Give the point to... Carlo Hein, first time she's been in the game, I think. Yeah, Dave. I agree, and that's her first kill. And, yeah, she rotates in. Um, you see for Coldwater, two freshmen get time, and that would be Campbell Essler, the libero, and Harlo Hein says, I'm out here too, guys. Riley Kanapke's serve goes off the net. That's blocked, and it goes off of Unrast. I'm going to give that block to Harlow Hine. She is second on the Coldwater squad in that category. 30 coming into tonight's district semifinal it's a action. 5'11 freshman. Hit out of the middle. Moeller tipped over that time by the center, Kanapke. And hit to the back row and it missed in the back row on Rachel Keither's attempt. And Coldwater's jumped out to a 4 0 lead yeah. here in this set. It's not Kenny Loggins' danger zone, but the band is warming up. I know it's early in the set, but Marion Loco, they need to respond right now. Back set. That ball was hit. Slide play by Grace Moeller, and the point will go to Marion Loco. They're on the board at 4 1 now, as Natalie Evers will serve with 627 assists this season. Going to Grace Moeller is a great way to get on the board the first team all max selection. There's Harlow again. Tipped over by the There's center. the corner. Yeah, there you go. Good push to the back row that time by Natalie Evers. Obviously, up here from our camera angle, those, those corners really look open. But when you're down on the floor, the, it's just not the same perspective. It's all about geometry. It's hard to find them. Second team all-conference, Natalie Evers will serve. Hit out of the middle by Spencer Etzler. It's blocked by Moeller, but it goes out of bounds. Cavs will get the serve back, leading 5-2. And Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. 57 aces on the season for the player of the year in the MAC. Chloe Ronebaum will hit, and she was going cross court. With that, Morgan Blaston game couldn't play it, and it was 5-3 now, Coldwater. Yeah, Chloe Ronebaum does a great job of cutting that one to avoid the block, and as you said, Blaston game couldn't come up with it. Moeller serve, and serves long. 
6-3 Cavaliers. With Campbell Etzler to serve. Second team all conference as a freshman in this conference. It's impressive. That really is, isn't it? I really feel that Raya Busher as a libero might be the best libero in the league, but Campbell Etzler is a freshman. She's ready to have the torch passed to her. Spencer Etzler plays that one. Rodebaum has to trace it down, and she's going to get a hit opportunity. That goes off of Campbell Etzler. And blasting game free balls it. Set. Rodebaum goes up and hits through the block of Mia Kanapke. Yep, you free ball it over. The other team more than likely, they're going to take advantage of it. That's why it's imperative. First contact has to be accurate. you got to rotate and transition from defense to offense. And Ava Unrath, she was second team all-conference as a senior this year. Block. Blasting game will set. That's hit by Kanapke. Unrest will set Ronabom. And she scores again. As we said, Chloe Ronnebaum, when she's up there in the front left area, she can be a weapon in Marion Local, and specifically uh, the setter, Natalie Evers, taking advantage of Ronnebaum being up there. Ava Unrass, her serve, her ace, will tie the score up at six all. Is that her first ace of the day, Dave? That is her first ace, number 24 on the season for Ava. And we are tied at six as the Flyers have rallied after trailing 4-0. Yes. They've come right back. Just what you need to do. That's the heart of a champion. Set. Wonderful set from Mia Kanapke to Morgan Blassingame, a pair of first-team all-conference MAC players. And Coldwater takes the lead back at 7-6. Blassingame one kill behind Spencer Etzler, who leads in this match with six. Blossom game, obviously, with five. Olivia Broering comes in to play the front row. Ronabom will hit from this side and score again. Chloe Ronabom making her presence known. Goes down the line right there, Mark. 152 kills on the season for her. And again, she missed some time with some knee problems. And see her back and competing well. Set from Kanapke and hit out of the middle by Blasting Game. Morgan had 371 kills in 65 sets. Absolutely, and as we said, that led the Mac, not only her team, but the Mac. And now she goes back to the service line. They'll look for her behind the 10 foot line as well. And that's an ace as she racks one off the back row, makes it 9 7 Coldwater. That's her 50th ace on the season, second on the team in that category. Just a tough call. Ashlyn Moeller didn't know whether to go for it or not, and that indecision cost her. Good line drive served to Evers out of the middle. It's hit. That hit was by Eckstein. It's dumped over that time by the setter. A good play by Etzler, but she couldn't keep it in play. Nice diving effort. Yeah, nice push over the net by Natalie Evers. Picks up her second kill in the match. This serve will be Brooke Evers. She's a senior. 12 aces for her this season. Spencer Etzler. Oh, that is the definition of a kill right there, Mark. Goes down the line. The defense for Marion Local, they try to do what they can with it, but just too much power. Well, Chloe Rodenbaum has 265 digs on the season, and she couldn't play that ball because it had so much on it. Yeah, she didn't get 266 yeah. right there. Very and talented young lady in the back yeah, row. And nothing she on her part. couldn't play it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tipped over by the setter that time. That's a block in the front row by Moeller, and what do we have? We have... I think we might have a uh, lift. Ill illegal contact, you're correct. Carlo Hind. 10-9. About all she could do with it right there, but, yep, that's a violation. Eckstein serves. Set out of the middle. How about Harlow Hines? Yeah, she didn't carry that air with her at all, did she? She did not. She moved on to the next play. That's her second kill of the night. Give her 66 on the season. Back to serve. Riley Kanapke, yet another freshman. Set. Tipped over and 
Really nice place for the ball by Grace Moeller. That's one of those examples that I am so impressed with with these student athletes. Grace Moeller gets up in the air, and she makes about four decisions mid-air before she taps it over the net for the point. And Natalie Evers will serve. Back set hit. And Hine missed the sideline. Cut it too sharp. We are tied at 11. Good decision by the Marion local defense to let that one sail wide. Natalie Evers will serve again. Esther just tips it that time. A little joust at the net. And really good effort, but yep. that became a double contact situation, trying to push it over. And for the first time in set number two, the Marion local Flyers take a lead at 12-11. Coldwater does that better than anybody, playing the ball out of the net. And I don't know how you practice that, but they have it down as a skill. And talking about a skill, how about Unrash tracking yep. that one down? Great effort. Free ball over by Keeter. Spencer Etzler <laughs> pounds the ball to tie the game up at 12. Yeah, she can hit it pretty hard, but you know at Stanford, she's not going to hit it. She's going to be in the back row, a defensive yeah, specialist. specialist. Isn't that yeah. something? <laughs> Amazing. But it also shows her all-around sure skills does. to transition to that area. She will set this time. And blasting game hits. Etzer will set again. And that's hit right on the sideline by Mia Kanapke. Yeah, she rotated the setter. She was definitely in position to hit that one hard, and she did. She said, I don't get this opportunity uh, very often. She takes advantage when it does present itself. Spencer Etzler, service, float serve. Back set. And a big hit out of the back set by Rachel Keeter. Was that Keeter or was that Grace Moeller? Oh, I think okay. that might have been Moeller. Grace, okay. Um, because again, her again, it's hard to read the numbers, really but is. just the way she attacked the ball, I've seen her do that all season, puts everything into that contact point. And Morgan Blasting game attacks the ball as you called it, Dave, and put it on the sideline opposite. Kill number seven for Morgan. Mary Local doing a great job. As we said, typically this is the time of the match where cold water creates distance. Marion Local just had a one-point deficit right now. Back set, tipped over. Pancake, really nice play by Etzler. Spencer Etzler's play allowed Morgan Blastingame to score. Spencer Etzler just doing it in all fashions right now. Her sister behind the service line, Campbell. And yes, they are the daughters of head coach Nikki Etzler and varsity assistant Mike Etzler. Chloe Rodenbaum hits it to the back row where it's tracked down by Mia Kanapke. All six girls for Coldwater inside the 10 foot line. And that's going to be four contacts. This Mike Etzler was the coach here for a long time. Yes, he was. Uh huh. Took an administrative position in the. Coldwater school system and kind of traded places then with Nikki. This hit will be by Kiara Kanapke. Pushed over to the back row. Really good job by Natalie Evers. Great decision right there. And we mentioned it earlier. The corners are susceptible for cold water. That's something you pick up on film as after you've played a team, Marion Local, putting it into practice. And we are tied at 15. Blasting game has to step around a teammate to make that hit. Ronenbaum has to hit it, and she didn't have a right angle to get it across. 16-15, Cavaliers. Game has been tight, or set has been tight throughout. Both coaches have both timeouts. Paige Ontrop has now entered to play in the front row. She rotates in and out with Kira Kanapke. Ronebaum hits it off a blocker. It's be set to the far side where it's hit by Maya Eckstein. And blasting game. Got a touch. Went off the net as well. Hit yeah. the tape. And again, that changes the projection of the volleyball and the speed. 
Marion Local unable to come up with it. I'll tell you what I've been really impressed with. We've talked about Marion Local's overall defense, but specifically when Coldwater's made blocks, Marion Local's been able to dig it out. Give that ace to Mia Kanapke. Her team is now up by three at 18-15 in set two. Mia will serve again. She had 26 aces before this evening. Right here's where Coldwater pulled away in the first set. Spencer Esther's going to set teammate Paige Ontrop. And Paige Ontrop collects a point. It's 19-15 and timeout Marion Local. They trail by four in set two. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Burke Petroleum. They now offer propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Dave, you play the Coldwater Cavaliers, they are just relentless. They're it relentless. just keeps coming at you. You keep trying to find where's their weakness in and right now, obviously, undefeated, only one set loss all season long. No one has found it yet, with the exception of Versailles in that one, one set. set. Yep. A great timeout by Coach Dirksen. She called it at 2014 in the first set, 1915 here. Let's see if the Flyers can respond. Yeah, Kanapke sets, but hit out of the middle that time by Blasted Game. And then Toy Ronenbaum comes through for her team. 1916. Flyers have been hanging with them. Mm -hmm. so they can make a little bit of run here with Chloe Ronenbaum to serve. She has 18 aces for the season. Yeah, she had a good run earlier in the set, but she rotates to the back row here. Won't be able to hit. Classic game plays it off the block. Hits again. That's blocked again. Catch a number at the net. Who played that? There are two girls there. That looks like it was number uh, nine, uh, I Brooke believe. Evers, I yes. think. Yep. 19-17. Two bl second block on the night for Brooke. Blasting game hits again, and will score again. 2017. Blasting game has that twitch as well. We talked about it with Grace Moeller. Morgan really didn't have a chance to have any footwork going into that hit, but just tremendous arm swing, and she still got a lot behind that one. Morgan Blasting game served that ball. Campbell Etzler will set Spencer. Tipped over, and she just missed the sideline. Really good idea by yes. Matt Lieber. She just missed. It would have fell in for a point just too long. Tries to go down the net on the second hit. Coldwater was not ready for it. Just sailed long. 21-17. Tried to make a kill with Brooke Evers. is blocked back at her, and it's 20. 217. Paige Ontrop with the block, her 30th on the season. She's third in that category for the Cavs. Ronenbaum will set on the far side where it's hit by Maya Eckstein. And then the point out of the middle will go to Paige Ontrop. Her fourth kill on the night. And there's your second timeout by the Flyers, Mark. Yeah, at 23 17, Coldwater. We were tied at 15, and they've been on a run of 8-2 since then, Dave. And it's just, it's just kind of the same type of stuff. They just keep, keep playing fundamentally correct, and you make a mistake, and they make you pay for it. Yeah, cold water makes it pay, makes you pay for it. And what we've seen between timeouts here, what cold water has done differently, Mia Kanapke is going with the short set to the middle, and when that short set is done correctly, and you and your teammate are on the same page. You're dancing together. It's almost indefensible because a block just can't get there in time. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores, including week 10 of high school football, Mr. Bowen. It's hard to believe it's week 10. Your goal in August is to play in November. 
And we have some great league matchups here in Week 10, and then we'll know yeah. who's going to be playing in November. Including the football teams from these two schools. Absolutely, both yes. Right now. Uh-huh. Tipped over by Eckstein. This set will go to Spencer Etzler. Played by Unrast. And then unable to get it over, and we are at set point here in set number two. Etzler with her 10th kill on the night. Blasting game has served five consecutive points to end this match. And end this set, I should say. And that will be a 25-17 second set victory. We're going to set three after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's Marion Local premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, you can call OPAC. Sets one and two have gone the way of the Coldwater Cavaliers. Opening set was 25-18. Second set was 25-17. And we are ready for set three action. Set three action in this series since 2007. That's how far Max Preps goes back. It's nine to nine. Mark, 9-9, nine to nine, but Coldwater has won the last four meetings. The Flyers last won in 2020. Again, four outstanding clubs in this district. Two are going to go home being state ranked and not be able to get any further down the tourney trail. Coldwater up to zero here going into set three. They mentioned St. Henry and Crestview. They will play in our second match, which you will see this evening on WOSN. Spencer Etzler gets a assist or a set from her sister. Back set. And going for the back set kill was Morgan Blasting game, but she was not able to score. And Mary Local scores first, up 1-0, and my Eckstein, the sophomore, will serve. Behind that 10-foot line, you think you can hit it as hard as you can. You know you got to go a little higher because you're further back. Blasting game sails that one deep. Spencer Etzler. And she chucks up another kill. We're tied at one. She's found success going down the line tonight, more so than going corner pocket. Spencer Etzler to serve. Free balled over on the serve. And blasting game hits it to Ronabom. What a great dig. Tipped over deep by Maya, Mia Kanapke. Shot was blocked from Grace Moeller. And then Grace couldn't get the ball to fall on the far side, has to double hit it. A lot of times it's really, really enjoyable being in the middle. You're right in the middle of the action, and Grace obviously was on that point, but she did double hit it there. Float serve, set, tipped over, but not well enough by Grace Moeller. She left that one a bit short. It's 3-1. Spencer Etzler will serve again. Couple unforced errors for the Flyers. Got to clean the slate with those if you're going to compete here in set number three. Another serve to about the same spot. That's tipped over and in a good spot that time. Is that Grace Moore? It was. Yes, it was. I thought it was. Gives her her seventh kill on the night. 3-2. With Natalie Evers to serve. Back set. That was Hain, or Hine, excuse me. Passing game. Diving play by Etzler. Evers goes and gets the set. Spencer Etzler will set this ball. And blasting game hit it long. We're tied at three. Again, great defense there a couple times. Coldwater, they probably have a drill where, where Coach Etzler just hits the ball anywhere in the gym, and the girls go chase it and keep it from hitting the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Give that ace to Natalie Evers. Her team is up in this set three, four to three. That's her 39th ace on the season. Couldn't come at a more apropos time. Second on the squad in aces is Natalie Evers. 
Passing game tips to Unrast. Evers will set Ronabaum. That ball is pushed over by Mia Kanapke. And give that one to Rachel Keeter. Her second kill on the night. Marion Local up 5-3 in set number three. Natalie Evers will continue to serve. She served, served three consecutive points. Marion Local down two sets to zero. Your back's against the wall. you got to let it all hang out. That was a really, really good set from Mia Kanapke, Dave. That pass was a little bit long, and she was still able to get to it and set her teammate. Morgan blasts the game for the point. And the phrase I like that you said right there, Mark, a little bit long. More often than not, they put it right on point mm -hmm. for Mia. That one just off a bit, but she was able to reel it back in. Cam Boetzler's serve. And trying to get one down from behind the back line is Sophia Fleck. That missed. And we are tied at five. Sophia Fleck, one of the hardest working girls on this Marion local team, according to Coach Dirksen, been very pleased with her all year long. Grace Moeller emphatically puts her team up one at 6-5. Kill number eight for Moeller again. When she gets her footwork exactly right and is able to high point the ball, her whole body, all her power comes through her arm and into her hand, and she drills it. Did you Speaking drill? of drilling, <laughs> yes. I think Morgan Blasting Game heard the comment, it's time to drill the ball, and she <laughs> just put one down inside the 10-foot line. Inside the 10-foot line. That is impressive. I don't care who you are, where you are, and twice on Sunday you'll take that one. Mia Kanapke will serve. This will go to Ronenbaum, and Chloe hits it off a blocker, and she scores. Chloe has been very effective. We've said it throughout the match, but the Marion local contingent, and especially Natalie Evers, realizes it, it as well. Chloe has been very effective front left. Ava Unrath served that one, and last the game scores again. We're tied at seven. That gets back to where fundamentals right there. Great bump off the serve. First contact was outstanding. Great set. Short set. Blasting game hits it where the defense can't defend it. Morgan's turn to serve. Evers will set to the far side. Good play by Blasting game. Spencer Etzler hit it and missed the back line. We are looking at a flyer lead of 8-7. And this is where we've been in the previous two sets. It's like a history lesson. You, you don't want to repeat history, so you got to know what's going wrong. Marion Loco, they got to continue to dig throughout the entire set. Ashlyn Moeller entered to play in the back row. And our line judge says out, and then she said, nope. I like a line judge who will do that. Page, I thought it was yeah. going out, and it wasn't. Oh, let's get the call right. We're tied at eight. Paige Ontrop rolls that one over down the line. Kanapke. This is Kira Kanapke serves. Unrest will set. Hit over by Maya Eckstein. Right out of the middle with a big hit. Carlo Hine, do you think that freshman has a future day? I think uh, you, you'll Goodness. keep her. I think she's a keeper. You'll take her. Um, she's just a pup, but, man, she is not playing like a freshman. Excellent arm whip, a lot of velocity behind it. There's Kira again to serve. That ball is blocked at the net on the kill by Maya Eckstein. And we are tied at nine. Marion Local. Led 5-3, Coldwater led at 3-1. It's the biggest either team has been ahead in this third set. Set. Hit on the backside. Is that Broering? Olivia Broering on the backside put that away. Her second kill on the night. So here it is. The rotation now, this is where Coldwater has really made money is when you've got Etzler, and then Blazing Game just getting ready to rotate up to the front line. Let's see if Marion Local can squelch it in this set. Right there was That's a, a big good hit start. by Grace Moeller. Absolutely, we're tied at 10. 
pass is set. Those were really well done. And now it's my Eckstein's turn to serve. Kill number nine for Grace. Sophomore. <laughs> to Campbell Etzler. Here's the set. And Spencer Etzler goes off a block and puts her team back up one. Kill number 12 for number 13. Who then rotates back to serve. How about these numbers? 292 kills, 57 aces, 32 assists, 312 digs, and 19 blocks. All in 65 sets. That's the definition of player of the year. Block. Tipped over. Muller tips it over again. And out of the middle. Give that one to Harlow Hine. You mentioned her just a second ago. And she continues to give the Coldwater Cavaliers some spice on the front row, and Marion Local's going to take it to you. That they do. Back with the rest of set three in a moment. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard today brought to you by Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Mary Local takes a timeout. They trail by two in set 312-10, and Spencer Etzler will continue to serve. To Ronenbaum, to Natalie Evers, and then it's hit on the backside. This is going to go to blasting game. Same person set that one too. Rachel Keeter got that set. It's 11 12 now in favor of Coldwater as Natalie Evers heads to the service line. Two things. I love that Coach Dirksen took that timeout. The score is much tighter than what she did in the first two sets. It was more widespread, and then they get the point coming out of the TO. Unrass dives, and somebody it went foot all the way across the center line for Coldwater, makes it 12-all. Yeah, we have a violation, but again, Ava Unrath, she has been all over the floor for Marion Loco in that blue shirt, having a great match. Morgan Blasting Game talking about having a great match. Gets a really nice set from Mia Kanapke and puts it away. Number 13. Campbell Etzler to serve. You know, for for Blasting Game and Spencer Essler and Kanapke to have the numbers they have. You know, they're playing the minimum number of sets a lot of times. Yeah, look, not, at, look at number of kills per set and yes, see what they've done. Yes. That's going to be an illegal contact as Grace Muller had to reach behind her to play the ball. 14, and they're still 12. leading in these categories, uh, not with the average, just overall totals. So impressive. Evers tracks it out of the net. That's difficult to do, and Keeter plays it over. Blasting game gets it blocked. That one was not blocked, not touched, so it becomes four hits. Flyers will get the ball back and do so trailing by one at 14-13. Service by Grace Moeller. That's blocked by Ronebaum. But there's the no, defense. Not Ronebaum, excuse me. Block was by Brooke Evers. That ball was hit by Kira Kanapke, the 5'10 junior. Her third kill on the night. Entering play in the front row is Olivia Broering. And to serve will be Mia Kanapke. This is Rona Baum, and she hits it into the block. A page on trop. 16 13. Kill number 31 on the season for Page. Kanapke will serve again. Evers tracks it down. Tipped over. Oh, nice play by Natalie Evers. Outstanding play. Set by Mia Kanapke. Tipped over by Nevers. 
Oh, my. Did you see I that? Did. The set by Mia Kanapke and then the kill out of the middle. I thought I was seeing Magic Johnson throw the ball to any of the Lakers in showtime right there. What a great assist and a great finish, Mark. Do you teach that? Mia Kanapke will serve. <laughs> Chloe Ronenbaum will hit. Spencer Etzler from behind the 10-foot line. Unrast will set Ronenbaum. It was a really good effort by Mia Kanapke to get the ball headed for the scorer's table, but her team wasn't able to put it in play. 17-14. And there was Chloe Ronobaum again, front left, going down the line, really made Coldwater chase after it. She gets the kill out of it. Ava Unrath served to her counterpart, Campbell Etzler, who will now free ball it over. See if Marion Local can take advantage here. Chloe Ronobaum. She'll give that one to Olivia Broering. 18-15. Again, we know what Blazing Game and Spencer Etzler can do, but then you have Kira Kanapke come in and Olivia Broering come in and Harlow Hine come in. They have three, three, and four kills respectfully. Those are, those are backbreakers. Eckstein's shot goes in. That's her fifth kill on the night. Wait a moment, look at the line, Judge, to make sure, and it was. So it's 18. 18-15. Uh, 18-15. And look at the scoreboard. This is a difficult place to see the sure scoreboard is. here. A wonderful facility. Difficult to see the scoreboard is all. That hit was by Maya Eckstein. And from behind the 10-foot line. And a kill will go to Morgan Blasting game. Yeah, number 15. But, yeah, we have basketball supports in the way for our viewers. Yep. We can only see one side of the scoreboard on one end and only the other side on the other end, and we have to look at both. That's pretty challenging for a couple old guys. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, a couple guys yeah. like us. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Set. Unrash has to free ball it. And here's Set. We'll go to Spencer Etzler. Unrash has to play that one. And hit the antenna. Who hit it there? It will be cold water ball. Hmm, I think that might yeah, have been I, off the cold water block. I think we're going to have a little bit of discussion. You know what we should do? The superintendent here, Mark Bagley, walked in. Yes. And we should talk to him about these scoreboards that are in the way. Well, now that you bring you know, that up, years ago, I did have that conversation with Mark. We shared a lot of film <laughs> with each other, Crestview and Van Wert. And uh, I said, what's the deal? And you got to. At the end of a quarter in basketball, you got to take a picture of one scoreboard, then you got to take a picture of the other in order to see the score. Life goes on. Serve is short. Mark's going to do some basketball games with us this winter on Absolutely. WSN. I know I've got a game with him. Looking forward to it. Brooke Evers will head back to serve. The score is 20 to 16. Etzler will set, and she does so, and trying to go cross-court at a difficult angle. Hein missed the sideline, so it's 2017. Yeah, Marion Local cannot let this deficit expand anymore, and they need to cut into it right now. Coldwater has been the first to 20 in all three sets now up to this point. Coldwater backs against the wall. they got to let it all hang out here. Hein missed the back. Row that time it is 2018, and we are going to get a Coldwater Cavalier timeout. Tournament of volleyball coming right back on WOSN. Coldwater Cavaliers are taking a timeout. They still lead 2018 in set number three. Here from the Van Wert High School. Brooke Evers will continue to serve. Trying to get her team back even in set three. But Spencer Etzler hits it to Ronabaum. Unrast will set to the far side where it's hit over by Maya Eckstein. Spencer Etzler times this one up and rolls it over. And a 
Good spot of the ball by Natalie Evers. Take it deep every once in a while and get a point for it. Now the Flyers are down just one. Nice job by the Flyers to cut it to one here. See if they can even it up and make it a game to five. Campbell Etzler to Spencer. And Spencer hits it through the block of Grace Mulder to make it 21-19. When you're feeling momentum switch a little bit, who are you going to call? Well, Mia Kanapke, she's going to call her teammate Spencer Etzler, does so right there. Sophia Fleck will enter and play in the back row for the Flyers. Overpass. And overpass to Spencer Etzler. Gives her a chance to score again, put the lead up three. Each Coach, team has a timeout left. Yes, maybe. that's what I was just going to say. Coach Dirksen still has one. Coach Etzler took her first timeout of the Set, match. hit. Grace Moeller. It's 22-20. Cavaliers with Maya Eckstein going back to serve. Kill number 10 for Grace Moeller. She's number seven in the MAC in the kill category this season. Moeller serve. Set. Spencer Essler tips it to the middle of the floor. Makes it 23-20, Cavaliers. That's kill number 15 for Etzler. She definitely went with the changeup right there. The defense was ready for the hard hit ball. They didn't get it. Coldwater with the point. Spencer Etzler, her team is two points away from getting to a district final. And Grace Moeller hit it long. Anybody touch it? I don't believe so. Yes, line the okay. uh, R2 says, I got a touch. All right. 23-21 now with Mary Local getting the serve. Need to practice dodgeball a little bit more in order to miss that one. Coldwater unable to do so. Roaring. Good play by Fleck. Ball had too much steam on it. And now Coldwater is one point away from going to a district championship game on Wednesday night. Bronson game with her 16th kill right there. And we will see a timeout by Marion Local before that serve could take place. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from any time at anywhere. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple TV. And you and I were at a match the other night, and the lady came up and says, hey, what happened to yes, my WSN on yes, my cable? Yes. And when we told her that she could pick it up on for $8 a month, she said, really? I'm and in. She, she said, I'm in. So, I, yeah. <laughs> I think she's your number one fan is what I think, Mark. And we'll go from there, right? She was really happy to find out she yes. could keep watching our, our sports channel. Yes. She's wondering what happened to it, why it disappeared. Well, the cable provider took it off. Mm-hmm. One of the stats that's interesting in tonight's match, Coldwater, they led the MAC in overall kills this year with 886. Marion Local led the MAC in overall digs this season with 1,273, which was going to give. Well, right now it looks like Coldwater with the kills, they are going to move on, and they have really put on a display tonight. Set point Cavs to Ronabom. Dave, I like it when a senior says, I'm not ready to go home yet. Chloe exactly. has played really, really well she this has. evening. Kill number nine. And again, you have to be free and easy with that, knowing if you don't execute it, it's going to be a point and it's over. But she does. 24-22, Cavaliers. Back set. Cavaliers scramble into it. It's tipped over. Flyers scrambled into it. And again, and when you need a point, you go to Morgan Blasting game. And that's just exactly what the Cavaliers did, and they will take set three at 25-22 and take all three sets of this match this evening. Marion Local, they really came through and gave a lot of heart, a lot of grit, a lot of determination. I mean, if you're looking for a squad that you want to rely on and you need them to get something done for you, Marion Local, they came in with the right attitude. Great effort, but just not enough. This cold water squad... They're undefeated for a reason. It was on display tonight. I know it only went three sets, but Marion Local pushed them. They did. 
Coldwater will take this match 25-18, 25-17, and 25-22. Marion local season will come to an end with 17-7 record. They were 5-4 in the MAC. The Coldwater Cavaliers will be back here on Wednesday night to play the winner of our second match between Crestview and St. Henry. They are 24-0, 9-0 in the MAC. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Burke Petroleum. And our premier sponsor tonight was OPAC. I want to thank Jacob O'Neill. Jacob did all the camera work and audio work, and we'll take this back to Beatty Road and edit it all together for you to watch. Coldwater moving on to Wednesday night's district championship match. You've been watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. <laughs>